Hello, and welcome to the Joy Corner. I'm Carol DeShane, and I am your intuitive, certified transformational life and business coach and Marconic multidimensional energy light worker and teacher. In these few moments, I hope to help you to be more connected to your true self so you can find more joy in your life and really get your subconscious working so that you can create that life that you really, really want. These I am affirmations are really thought through and I connect to source when I create them so that they are the best ones I can come up with. Sometimes they may need to be tweaked for you personally, but hopefully you're listening to this, you're really close to getting what you want out of here. So the first one for this week is going to be, I take the time to nurture myself. And so many times we don't do that. So let's take that breath. And I'm just going to say it one time the way that I'd like you to start learning to do I am affirmations if you haven't done them before. And even if you have, I have to say I learned it what I would consider the incorrect way where I did it by rote 40 times in a row when I was quite young because I did what they told me. I did it 40 times exactly, but it was, okay, say it, spit it out, spit it out, spit it out and nothing changed. In order to get your, your subconscious on board, you need to connect, feel like you, you're going into a momentary meditation, and don't let that word scare you, or prayer. So connect through your spirit, through your brain, through your emotions, and have them all on board together when we do this. Take the breath. Feel it as though this is true when you say it, right, just for this moment. I take the time to nurture myself. And then breathe it in. Feel it. If you zing during any of these that I, I put out there for you, then they're a good affirmation for you. And by zing, I mean maybe you feel it in your solar plexus. You get a, or your heart goes, oh, yes. Or your brain goes, whoa, oh, my God, this is perfect. Or you just get some sort of a re emotional response. Pay attention to that. Maybe you get it, uh, this doesn't feel right. Tweak the words, adjust them a little bit. Make sure they stay in the positive. You don't want your subconscious to go into the negative territory because then it'll just flip it and give you what you don't want. We don't want that. You don't want to do all that work and then have an opposite response or result. So here we go. We're going to do it three times. And I always say three to five times or until you can't connect as well anymore because it takes a little bit of effort to suspend your disbelief on something that you need to change in your mind. So I take the time to nurture myself. Always breathe for a moment afterwards. See how those words do to you. And then breathe a second time and say it again. I take the time to nurture myself. And breathe again. Feel the tingles if you have them going through your body. I take the time to nurture myself. Ah, oh yeah, does that feel good? Does that feel like it's right for you? Let's do it one more time. I take the time to nurture my body, to nurture myself in whatever way that means. You may need to shift it to, I take the time to nurture my body if you do not do anything for yourself. Myself is maybe you need to do something in all different areas, in your emotions, in your intellect, in your spirit, in your physical body. And I just use the word just myself so that you can adjust it if you need to. But if you're saying I nurture myself, maybe the reason you need to use this is because you're nurturing everybody else but yourself. If you're a caregiver, you know that you don't usually take time for yourself. So many times care, caregivers die if there's a spouses before the person who's being given care because they're so exhausted and they just run themselves down to nothing. They have no energy left. So you need whatever it may be. If you have kids and you're running after them all the time, take those few moments. Find some time to nurture yourself. And whatever that means to you, you deserve it. You deserve to also have people take care of you. And you may not feel comfortable with that. But if you at least nurture yourself, 
allow yourself to have that hot bubble bath if you're me. Or to read a good novel when you think you maybe you should be doing something else, if that nurtures you. And then you can do the other things. Make sure you still have time for things that have to be done. We prioritize things. But put this in the prioritization as well. Put it in the queue. Don't wait until you have no time left. You have a spare minute and then help yourself. Nurture yourself all the time. In your mind and heart, know that you deserve it. Your spirit already knows it. You just need to convince anything that you've already put in that subconscious bank that, yep, eject it. That's a bad dollar bill, <laughs> or however you want to put it. This is something that it's counterfeit. How's that? This isn't true, so we can eject it out. Say it one more time. I take the time to nurture myself. I give myself that gift. You deserve every good and wonderful thing. You deserve to have a fabulous life. Whatever that means to you and whatever nurturing yourself means to you, make sure you give yourself that gift. You'll only be better for it, as will everyone around you. They'll appreciate it. It's like when some men say the wife's not happy, nobody's happy. It's true. If you aren't happy, no matter whether your wife, husband, or someone in the middle, if you're not happy, your friends aren't necessarily and other people aren't. So what is it that makes your life more joyful? Take those steps. You deserve it. Thank you for joining me here today. I'm Carol Deshane. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like what you hear, you can also click on the bell notification to get the notice the next time that I've posted something. These Joy Corners come out once a week on Sunday evening. And Wednesday, I also have an additional video of something of interest that I hope will speak to you and help you in your path. And if you'd like to know more about me, you can look on my website. There I have information about my podcast, Living Your Limitless Life, as well as other, other things, my, my business coaching, my life coaching, and Marconic Multidimensional Energy, which is also, if you want to be a practitioner, I'm also a teacher of that. So until next time, next week, remember you deserve to have every wonderful thing in your life. And I take the time to nurture myself. Breathe it in and know that you do deserve that.